Hey, Power Brokers, thanks for checking out another episode of Politics with Powers here on Hudson Power Broker Channel. I'm Emily Powers, and we're going to get right into it. So in 2018, Republicans lost control of the New York State Senate for the first time in a decade. Democrats now control both the Assembly and the Senate, and this total control of Albany has allowed Democrats to pass legislation, for example, the disastrous no bail legislation, which has led to a crime wave. So to win back the majority, Republicans will have to pick up eight new seats while maintaining their current seats despite a spat of retirement. So whether or not the GOP can hold their seats will be a future episode of Politics with Powers here on Hudson Power Broker Channel. But today I wanna to talk about three prime pickup opportunities for Hudson Valley Republicans. Let's start with Senate District 39. This district makes up parts of Orange County, Rockland County, and Ulster County, and this seat was held for years by Senator Bill Larkin until he retired in 2018, allowing James Scoofus to jump from the Assembly to the Senate and winning the seat by a 53% to 46% margin. Scoofus is a liberal, but he does like to appear more moderate and better suited for a district won by Trump by 53% in 2016. Challenging Scoofus is the chairman of the Orange County Legislature and the mayor of Montgomery, Steve Brescia. Brescia is running on safety issues like bail reform and he is the candidate for small business and affordability. Senate District 40, currently held by freshman Democrat Peter Harcum. This district makes up parts of Westchester County, Putnam County, and two towns in Dutchess County. And in a surprise defeat in 2018, Terrence Murphy lost the seat by fewer than 4,000 votes, winning the Dutchess and Putnam portions a two to one margin, but being crushed in Westchester County by a whopping 12 points. Westchester County does make up three quarters of this district. And in this district in 2016, Trump got 46% of the vote. Enter former Westchester County Executive Rob Astorino. He was the GOP candidate for governor in 2014. Astorino is the Senate GOP's marquee candidate. He has name recognition. He has a list of accomplishments from his county exec days. And he also has a large war chest with the ability to raise more. If elected, he would automatically become a powerful voice in the listless Senate Republican Conference. The last Senate district we're gonna take a look at is Senate District 42. Senator Jen Metzger, another freshman Democrat to the New York State Senate, she won the seat in 2018 by fewer than 3,000 votes. And this district makes up parts of Orange County, Sullivan County, Ulster County, and Delaware County. And the last time out, Metzger benefited from the huge turnout created from the gobs of money being thrown into the region to help elect Antonio Delgado. But remember this, in 2016, Trump won 53% of the vote in this district, 53%. Running against Metzger is first-time candidate Mike Martucci. He's an entrepreneur. He's from a very young age, started, grew, and sold his own transportation company. And he's been hitting Metzger very hard on many of her votes, including so-called bail reform and her vote to give illegal immigrants driver's licenses. He also has a really hard-hitting ad out right now, web ad. Check it out. It's called Out of Touch, and it features the sheriffs of Orange County and Sullivan County condemning Metzger on her ties to AOC and the New York City agenda. Thanks for watching. Of course, go follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and hit subscribe on our Hudson Power Broker YouTube channel so we know you want more of these videos. I'm Andalee Powers. Thanks for watching Politics with Powers. Be well, and I'll talk to you soon.